So we're given the keys to the uh, Fiat Ducato to test. A month or so after testing the scooter, its little sibling, although they're not really siblings because the Ducato is a whole new ball game over the scooter. This is a serious commercial vehicle. It's a big van. It's got a ton of grunt. Uh, this is uh, this is the real deal. If you're trading up your little scudo and because your business is thriving and you're going to go to something bigger, then you need to have your wits about you. If you haven't come from some sort of commercial vehicle background, these uh, high performance vans nowadays, uh, this thing had a ton of ton of power. I mean, three and a half ton, and it just romped over the Copahikawai Road uh, on the Coromandel. Um, and I've had a few concerns about you know people can rent these things three and a half ton and then you're going to put a trailer behind it, put the best part of another ton on it and you know your novice guy can can just uh, load it up and, and the van will will bolt over hills at no trouble at all and you could quite easily find yourself cresting the top of the hill and forth, uh, going over the top uh, just a shade over four ton unbrake trailer and, uh, and uh, fourth gear is plenty long enough to pick up serious speed going into going into the descent, and I just think the van guys need to talk to the truck guys a bit, and not just put safety features for uh, when things go a bit awry, but put a few things in there for keeping things in the operational envelope and warning people that this thing's got the power to get you up the hill and be cautious going down the other side. Maybe a descending control function. I don't know. But yeah, the performance of the van is starting to surpass some of the people that will drive them. And, and that's a bit of a worry uh, uh, when you're going up a steep gradient in your car and there's one coming the other way that's, uh, that's, that's getting a bit loose on it. Awesome to drive, beautiful handling, great braking, great gear changing, better than the Scudo. Um, pity you have to reach for some of the controls on the dashboard. Uh, again, talk to the truck designers, they'll tell you how to put a little wrap in the dashboard so you can sit in the driver's seat and reach everything you ever need. Um, but a real, uh, a real productivity machine in the right hand. Biggest fault on the van were the doors, uh, the placement of the centre pillar in the door windows on the driver's side, and uh, the curve in the door from top to bottom, uh, the curve increasing thickening which is making a rear view out the left hand side at dodgy intersections almost impossible. A bit of backcountry road work here in the uh, Ducato as you can see and um, yeah very hard to get this van uh, feeling uncomfortable you could drive it all day and uh, get out of it feeling feeling great. Uh, I like the both of the vans we've driven from a driving point of view um, yeah, very, very have a lot to uh, have a lot to make you like them. Here's the demon door pillar. How about that? Uh, someone in the design factory needs a hundred lines. I must learn to design doors and mirrors properly uh, because that's just really a very little bit of a letdown for what is a great vehicle. See the spotter at the bottom? Can't even see the spotter. It doesn't matter what you did with the seat; didn't get any better. You couldn't go any further forward uh, without wrapping your knees around the dashboard and then you uh, couldn't go any further back, it just got worse. Yeah, so great vehicle, loved it, uh, loved the Ducato, um, pity about the doors, uh, I thought it looked good, I thought it was uh, not a bad looking van, uh, the looks certainly grow on you, side profile made me take a bit of getting used to but then we've all got a dodgy side profile really, it's never our best, it's never our best angle. So uh, a great earner in the right hands.